Okay. Sorry, I had to get my phone going. Alright, so, for those of you who are here, and got to see that, we are going to play some Fallout 76. I guess I should have said that. I might switch to a different game too later, but right now, I am, um, I haven't been in Fallout in a minute, so I'm going to go check that out some... Cool. Do I get sound? Ooh. So I haven't played Fallout in, I don't know, man, a couple months at this point. Are you, are you going to let me play? Tab continue. See? There's a reason why I don't play with people. I want to see the seasons, though. Yeah, I know how it works. Oh, I get a pith helmet. I get Percival's pith helmet. Well, we need that. And we need the Rip Daring outfit. See, this is what I like about these things. Duel with the devil. Wait. Oh, do we get different stuff? <laughs> Sorry, my nose itches. Cryptic tiki statues. That's kind of fun. Okay, but where's the... Are we doing this differently? Is that how this works now? They changed the way this works? Inspect? No? What are we doing? Do I have to pick the one I want? Um... Well, I kind of liked the little, like, game board thing, though. I don't, I don't want that. Actually, I should technically be subscribed, but apparently we're not. Purchase seasonal... Oh, so I can't do this at all. Unless I'm subscribed. Well, that sucks. Ah, uh, whatever. I'll get my membership settled. Fixed, whatever. So until then, we'll just, um... Can't do the private adventure right now, so... Hopefully people aren't going to be too terrible <laughs> see 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 this is why i have this stuff this way all right what's going on what's wrong with obs um why is there a big blank spot no nope, that's the right one that that one i think is the one i don't want you to see Hmm. Hopefully that'll fix the problem. We haven't done anything. We just looked at a bunch of stuff, so. Hello from France. Hello from Colorado. Hello, Molly. Hello, Victoria. Hello, Rocky's Wooby. I am insistent on calling you Rookie's Wooby. I am so sorry, but, like, if I call you that, I don't know why. It doesn't look anything like Rookie. There we go, that's better. Alright, now you can actually see the board. Okay, you can see most of the board. What's going on with the chat window over here? That's weird. Also, it does not appear to be updating. I'll be straight with you. I think we're past the point where I just want to use you to further my own goals. I may be starting to... Thank you. Thanks, Rose. No, go back. I need to fix. No, I don't want Stop you it. thinking your pal Rose is nope. going soft on you. What are we doing? So let me just say this. That's what we want. All right. If you ever get it in your head to screw me over, I will gut you with this here song um. string.
Place. Where am I? The hell am I? I don't know about you all, but Watoga High School. Oh, I'm at the high school. Why am I at the high school? The camp to this song. No Why am I like here? It. Makes me happy every time I hear it. Here's Jukebox Saturday Night. Why not learn this? Hmm. Oh. Learned it. Learned it. Learned it. It's a learned boy. How's my armor looking? How's my armor look? Pretty good. Do, 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 do. Did I? Take everything out of that stu- I did, didn't I? That was bad of me. Hmm. Can I wear this? It's sturdy combat. What's heavy combat give me? Damage resistance. It's heavy. This is lighter. Damage resistance 47, 60. This is still better. Though, that would make me lighter. It's just not better. It's a lot lighter, though. Eh, let's go put that back. Can I put things back? I didn't mean to take all this stuff. I thought I was donating things. I didn't realize I was, like, taking things. Anyway. So. When we say... That's... Nope. What are we doing? There we go. Okay, cool. That's working. Sturdy combat piece. Can I put some food and drink in here? Yeah, how's the, how's the spoiled ramen milk? Um, 
yeah. Why am I over here, though? I don't understand why I'm here. Um... Here, have some... Well, not that many. We're on a public server, so I don't mind, like, donating a few things. Especially these things. I'll give you 50 of them. Because if you're like me, you will use them a lot more often than the other one. Miscellaneous? Anything? Anything I can actually get rid of? No, you can't have that. Alright, we're good. There, I reapplied. I learned some stuff. I put some stuff back. Anyway, so the whole point of doing archaeology in a game like this, remember, I don't know if you guys have ever heard me talk about this, but video games are completely man-made. There is nothing in this game that is accidental. So nothing here is natural. Oh, the Mothman Equinox is happening. Crap. Surprise contact. Engaging. <laughs> Why do I have the world's dinkiest gun for this? So I switched to an axe. Yep, that's... Why? Why am I here? Scanners reading zero hostiles. They always clear. Alright, anyway. So the... <laughs> now you see why I don't play this game. Um, the whole point is to kind of look at the game itself and kind of see how the game creators wanted to communicate with us about the game and, and the story of the game. Why in the F am I over here? Is that my camp? I cannot tell you. Oh, yeah, I cannot tell you why we're over here. In the so like in a game like this like fallout 76 it's like an open server kind of a game they want multiple players in it preferably people who don't die every five seconds but you know we do what we can and the goal of the game is to immerse you and move you through a storyline so that you feel like you're participating in an alternate life or in an alternate world right and to do that they use various parts of um material culture inside of the game to kind of communicate that like obviously i'm not in the modern world our current real world because you can just look around but there we go if i was familiar with appalachia or at least the west virginia bits and bobs of it some of this well not that obviously i don't know maybe the pylons would be familiar but okay where can i go that i'm not going to die is it the high school again? What is that over there? Um, what am I looking at? Appalachian Antiques. There's Bruce's camp. Bruce thinks he's clever. Camden's camp. So anyway, if I was like kind of familiar with some of these things, I might be familiar with some of these locations because some of these are actually if not real world locations they're inspired by real world locations you know like for example well obviously jack the vendor's camp is not real but there's a mall up yon is it up here forget exactly where the mall is maybe that's why i'm down there the tourist needs to complete his own dang bucket list Stupid tourists, that's what you get for dying. Like, Harper's Ferry, I think is an actual thing. The Sandy Brothers Cabins, not so much. Berkeley Springs, I think, is a real place. The Berkeley Springs Station might be. Um, the Thunder Mountain Substation probably is not. Uh, this is the mall, the Valeria, the Valley Galleria. I, when I took my trip to West Virginia to go look to the Mothman stuff, um... I was going to stop by, if I could find it, the Valeria Galleria, and that does not exist. But there is a place that is called this, and it's totally not a mall, though. It's not even like a strip mall, so. I don't know if that's just a coinkadink, 
or something like that. But there you have it. We are all the way down here, though. I don't know why. I think that's where we were when we died. I was going here? Why? I really wish I could remember what the hell I was doing. But I don't. I usually stay over in this area, as you can see by all the, like, blue dots. That means these are all places that I have looked at before. Yeah, the Mothman Equinox is going on. I need to remember how to play so we can go do this, because I can love the Mothman stuff. If you go here, if you go to West Virginia, I think it's Point Pleasant. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Point Pleasant. They have a um, Mothman statue and a bunch of little shops around the Mothman statue. And just to show you how the game world can affect the real world. There's been a recent development with the Mothman statue since Fallout has come out, and that is that people have started leaving cans of Frankenbeans around the Mothman statue. And that it is apparently something that comes out of the Fallout games. And it has become such a nuisance that the people that actually maintain the Mothman statue have put a sign up asking people not to leave food or offerings to the Mothman statue. Because they sit there and they go bad. Because it's hot. It's West Virginia. Uh, but I just thought that was kind of an interesting little development. Alright, so since I don't remember why the hell I'm here... I was going to the high school, maybe? Let's go to let's go to the Appalachian Antiques. Sure. And go check out an antique store. So let's go see what antiques look like in a fake world that is mimicking the 1950s retro futuristic aesthetic. So this is this is how Oh, and this is Pittsburgh, by the way. Union Steel is not a real place in Pittsburgh, but Pittsburgh Union Steel is kind of a amalgamation of all of the different steel companies that are in Pittsburgh, the real Pittsburgh. And when they put the expansion for Pittsburgh out, I actually took a trip up to Pittsburgh to walk around the area and see what all I could find. I think we've already established that I suck when it comes to weapons, so... Um, yeah, my guns don't work very well. So, yeah, that was a lot of fun walking around Pittsburgh and seeing the point and all of that good stuff. Where are you? Where are the rest of you? They all ran away. Mm, yeah, sure. Where'd you guys go? Weren't there like three of you here? Okay. Anyway. So it was fun walking around Pittsburgh and trying to like map out real world locations or just kind of like line up the game's history of Pittsburgh with real world Pittsburgh. And I tried to do the same thing with the Mothman statue and the mall and all that around the Mothman. Two varying degrees of success. Um, oh, a ball hammer though. And a clock. No? I can't take the camera. What if I want the camera? Alright, so this is the shed of the antiques place. Keep in mind, antiques are going to change a little. Because this game world has its own storyline. Obviously, it's been nuked. Ooh, a spinning wheel. Gray tortoise cigarettes. A kick pan. I don't think I'm going to get copyright hit for Wagner. Or Wagner. Ashtray. I don't think I need an ashtray right now. Oh, good. There's somebody else here killing things. Excellent. Unfortunately, they've probably also taken all the cool shit, so. Got this antique bed. We call a couple singles over here. So these are like... Oh, hey, buddy. Yeah, you just come over here. It's easier that way. Oh, you're legendary. Oh, shit, any of friends. Anybody else? We're good. Um, do I want that? I could probably sell it. Well, I've never had it before, so that's a good thing. I hear footsteps. It must be outside. Anyway, what was I saying? Yep, 
Lost that train of thought. Anyway, there's just like things that you would recognize, like these cabinets. These are things that you would recognize in today's modern world. Like you could go to higher end or even lower end um, antique shops and you could probably find something similar to this. You're probably not going to find a double-headed Brahma mount there um, just because that doesn't exist. <coughs> Excuse me, apologies. Same thing with these end tables or... There's a special name for these. I forget what that is. That's an end table, though. These are all things that you would see in the real world. This, again, is not something you would see in the real world. So, you know, you've got these little reminders that you are indeed in something that is mimicking IRL, but there's enough of it to take you out. We can always use that because that makes Molotov cocktails. Which reminds me... Well, I didn't want that, but... Nope. There we go. Um, with the rat away. No? Okay. There we go. That's what I wanted. And then what else have I got here? There's my Maltops. I probably need to up those. My axe. My sword. Rifle. My shotgun. What used to be there? Oh, my mole gauntlet. And binoculars. Um... Let's go with the mold, mold gauntlet for now. Only because it'll be a little faster. <coughs> okay. Turning my lights on so I can see. You can kind of see... Well, I mean, you can really see the retro-futuristic stuff here with the, the cars. Like, this is a truck as it's been reimagined from the 1950s. The hover cars... You know, you don't see Teslas, you don't see Nissan Leafs, Leafs. That's the mystery school, isn't it? I've already been over there. Going there again. Heck yeah. Have I not been up there? Let's see if I can find the hard way to get up there. Uh, but yeah, I have not fully explored this entire map. And they do update it occasionally, so I always like to check in here and there to figure out, you know, what's new and all that. Yes, there's probably an easier way to get up here. No, I'm not going to go look for it. Alright, maybe I am. Can I get it from here? Hmm. Oh, you can do it. I believe in you. Yay! So close. Oh, it's a Brotherhood shelter. Okay. Oh. Uh, and that's the other thing. We've got all of these different factions that have risen up just from the idea that, you know, it's a post apocalyptic world. The character you end up playing is uh, somebody who survived through a shelter. So you are new and innocent within this world full of radioactive depravity and things. What's that? Mm, I forget how to hold my breath. Is that alt? Yes. Alright. So, you, know, you can look at things around to just kind of see the difference. Like, I really no idea what that's supposed to be. That's mostly game glitches that there you're not actually seeing lights. That's just the game glitching. But this is some kind of like hover tube. Obviously it breaks. Broke down. But yeah, we still have these old power lines. So we've got these like super magnetic hyper technology hover trains, right? But we're still using like electric pions. And where are we going? What are we doing? Why are you doing it? I wouldn't said you could go there. Let's try this again. Get back up it. Stupid character. There we go. Alright, anyway. I fell down quite a bit. Alright, so this is a Brotherhood faction building. If you don't play this game. Get up here and I'll check the chat for a minute. Feel free to ask questions, by the way. I will check the chat. Come on, I know I can do it. You can do it. I believe in you. Can I get all the way in? 
These guys should be friendly. Operative word, should. Oh, yeah. I think that's the cranberry bog over there. Nah, I don't know what that is, honestly. I lied. Anyway, so here's more of the... Where'd it go? There's more of the hover train concept going on. But again, we have like these... You know, just these pi just these regular old um, power towers that you would see anywhere today. You know, so the it's the game is using just enough reality to help you, the player, become immersed in it. Sorry about the shaking. Uh, become immersed in it, but there's also enough weird to keep you interested. You know. Um. Hello, everybody who snuck in. Hello, ugly laughs. The atmosphere of Fallout is really great. Like, this is the evening. I wonder, sometimes these storms roll in and they're actually really cool, the storms, unless they've changed them some. Um, yes, Diary, this is Fallout 76. <laughs> I, I didn't, I don't know why I was there. Um... Oh yeah, they do have a show coming out, and I'm really excited to watch it. It's either going to be fabulous or absolutely terrible. My money's kind of somewhere in the middle. Bye, Athria. Um, it's just a block. Do you have power pylons not too far from where you live? Uh, Ugly Lefts, yes. This is called Archaeogaming. It is the branch of archaeology that looks at... Video games. We look at it as both an artifact and as a landscape and a site because they already have both. Look, it's what I'm holding in my hand. Uh, because everything here is intentional. Nothing here has been placed by accident. Nothing here is random. There's... Uh, I'll play some... I don't know if I'll play it today, but... Hmm... Oh, I want the shotgun shells. I just want the shotgun shells. Right. Um, somebody else up here? Is that me? Why am I making so much noise standing still? Well, whatever. They haven't started shooting at me, so I guess we're good. So, when... We we're doing archaeogaming, which is the short term for the gaming of archaeology. You know, we're looking at this building. This building is cool. This building may or may not exist in real life in West Virginia. Um, but in this game, it has been converted into a Brotherhood of Steel sanctuary. And that's how the game is using a bit of reality to amplify the relatability of the game, right? But then the game designers, this is all something the game designers built. So the game designers are like, what would a stronghold in this game look like if we were modifying an old building that somehow survived nuclear fallout? And this is what we get. I don't care enough. So we're using a little bit of landscape that isn't necessarily block for block what West Virginia would look like, but it's reminiscent of what West Virginia landscapes look like, plus what they would expect the added amount of damage from long, long prolonged fallout, hence the name of the game. So there's a lot of mutated creatures out here. There's a lot of mutated plants, all of which are collectible and or killable. Um, and then also, well, you know, we were looking at the old building down there. Ooh, there's a glowy guy in there. That is someone else's problem. The problem is, is I play this game incorrectly. So my character, though it is level 83, has like nothing. It's a very wimpy, wimpy character. These guys we want to avoid. They pop and explode. But yeah, we've got these benches out here. Again, these are not random. Even these plants are not random. Somebody somewhere made these. And they became an asset for the game. And so the game developers could be like, I want a fir tree here. So somebody designed a fir tree asset for the game. 
And then the designers were like, that's where we want the fir tree to be. Did they send people out to look over this area, this building, assuming that it is a real building, and go, ah, there is a fir tree in this corner of this building, and they mapped it out. It's possible. Some games do go that far. It is also possible that they were like, so this building that they took the time to look up the design of has fir trees around it, so let's just stick them where they would logically be. Also, the year for this is like very many years in the future of our world anyway. It's a chapel. Oh, that's kind of cool. Where am I? Because this kind of looks like a like a government building, old fashioned government building. And this is a chapel that's kind of tacked onto the side. I hate when they make these buildings and I can't get into them. It drives me nuts. I just want to go inside and look. So I'll walk around the edges here and look at this building. I don't like the radiation rumble. The other problem is, is I can't look in the windows because there's nothing, there's nothing to see. It's just a solid asset. We've got these great gates, this, this awesome space here. They do have the roads. Like I think most of these roads are interstates or, and they are real roads that do exist in real life. They don't necessarily run like that like they do in the game but they do exist in real life which is another way that i've been able to take the game world and kind of map it out in the real world do i want a diseased cranberry mm, i don't think so it'll just rot but i've been able to map out some things based on the position of the roads themselves so some of these locations i have been able to find and obviously they've got like the um the state capital in the game so obviously that's pretty easy to find try to determine what's going on here i like the, the art styles like they have a lot of art nouveau in these things hey there we go all right this is actually what i want to talk about I mean, it's a video game about post-apocalyptic world, so there's going to be depictions of deceased people in various stages. So if that's something you don't like seeing, just, you know, forewarning at this point, because I'm going to go over there and look at that guy. And... I mean, it is a game, so... Um, first, we're going to look around here a little bit more. See what I mean? You can't look in the dang windows. Just let me look in the dang window. This is actually a really safe space to be in. I don't think there's... Because it's a stronghold, I don't think there's going to be much in the way of, like, creatures attacking us. All right, so what I like to do is apparently stand in dirty water. I'm resistant to dirty water. I have special collector cards because, you know, that's how life works. Oh, no. I lied. I can... <laughs> I, have this, I have dysentery now. Anyway, one of the things that the game does, I know it's kind of dark, but hopefully you guys can make this out. Um, it sets up story by using these kind of settings. There he is. So these, if I wanted to attack them, the Verdi bots, they're probably escorting some kind of supply drone. If you can shoot them down, you get all the cool supplies. Someone else will take care of that because we're in a public server right now. But anyway, so the game, when it initially started, didn't have any NPCs in it or didn't have a lot of NPCs in it. So everything that the player interacted with in order to figure out the storyline had to be like these deceased uh, tableaus. And so we've got this guy here. Now, there's no official story for any of this. This is just stuff that we put together. But as an archaeologist, that's pretty much all. Yeah, you can hear them shooting at the Verdi drones now. This is pretty much all we've got to go on. We've got the past. And this is an image of the past. So we've got this guy. He's dressed up in one of the scientist slash doctor robes. Keep in mind, there's the game is communicating this to me. Like, I know what this skeleton represents because of the clothing on it. 
And then he's got this little cooler. I'm sure if I go over there, there might be some food or something in there. Thanks. I'll fix that in a minute. Um, he's got these beer bottles. I'm sure they're some some sort of beer. There's a random piece of clothing over here. I'm not so sure what that one's about. This is also a moonshine jug. So we see this guy laying here. He's got some food with him, or at least a cooler, and he's got quite a bit of alcohol around him. What's the story? What what are we looking at here? We can make up a bunch of different things. Again, there's no official story for any of these unless they've got some kind of paperwork with them. And there's been a couple that have like little notes that you read and they kind of connect together. And one of them's really sad because it's like this love story where a guy had gone through and put all of these mannequins up in these different positions. And if you read the storyline that goes along with it, he's basically recreating scenes with his lost wife and because he loved her. It's a very sad story, but it's also really sweet. Um, and it's kind of deep for a game like this. All right, so we've got this guy. I mean, obviously he's drinking. I'm not entirely sure with these if we're supposed to take that. These are people that died when the bomb dropped because I'll show you some of them later. There's like these charred green looking figurines that kind of look like people from Pompeii and if you get too close to them, they disintegrate into radioactive powder. And so I try to avoid them. But that's what I would expect someone who got caught in a bomb blast to look like. So I'm guessing that these people died some other way, some other unspecified way that we have no way of really figuring out. All right, so over here, we've all, get out of the lake. We've also got this lady here. I'm assuming it's a lady because it is an address. That, that's really the only way I have of determining because I've I've tried looking at the skeletons and looking at the bones of the skeletons and they're all the same. So there's really no way to determine any kind of like ethnicity or gender or sex based off of them. So all I've got are the cues that the game is giving me. So that's why I'm saying this is a, a woman because it's in a skirt. That's all I've got. And because the game is binary. So within the game world, it's a, it's a safe assumption to make. Anyway, so we've got this lady over here. She's out of this chair. Is that a straight jacket? Yeah, so see now this is coming together a little bit better. So we've got this lady who has clearly fallen out of her. I'm assuming she fell out of this chair. There's a straight jacket over here. Yep, that's a straight jacket. And we've got the doctor. So what are we, what are we to take away from this? And yes, I do. This is what I do. I spend way too much effing time doing this. I will even take pictures sometimes. <laughs> it's a melon bloom. Can I eat it? Alright, let's go into our inventory because this is annoying me. Uh, aid. What do I need? Disease cure? Yay! I magically recovered. Let's go back to food and drink. Um, I don't want to drink moonshine. I don't even know why I carry the moonshine around. It's a melon bloom. Oh, it's a literal melon bloom. Let's have a... Yeah, let's have that. Let's have some cram. Let's have a carnival pie. And don't we have some water? Purified water. There we go. All right, we should be good for a minute. No, quit giving me those stupid messages. Oops. So, we ate his food. Sorry, my dude. But yeah, you can see here, like, this is just, this is what they all look like skeletally. There's really no variation. Oops. And that's the other thing. I try not to get too close because if you touch them, they will move and I didn't want to do that because now now it's out of context darn it all right so anyway that's what we've got here in this courtyard we've got this guy we're going to assume it's a dude because um we're just going to assume because well, it's got a tie we'll go with that story all right we got this dude he's drunk he brought lunch he brought apparently a patient with him took the patient's straight jacket off and I I guess she, she tried to run away and didn't make it so who knows 
But these are the stories. Someday I'll show you guys my picture picture collection. I suppose I should check. Let me check chat real fast. <laughs> Welcome to the Oregon Trail. Yep. I have not played Little Nightmares. It does look cute. Um, you know, as far as the TV show pissing off the fans, I'm going to go into it with um, very low expectations. I'm also not... As, even though I know quite a bit about the Fallout world in general, most of my expertise is on 76, and I'm not entirely sure if the game, if the television show is going to be focused on 76. It would be cool if it did, but I don't know if it's... I don't know much about the TV show. I just, I just know that it's coming out. Um... So maybe they wanted more trees that are that are actually there. So they added more as needed. You know, considering how far in the future this is actually supposed to be, it wouldn't it would it would make sense to have. There, I saw somebody in the dis oh, there he is. It would make sense to have extra vegetation in places that were possibly landscaped in the past, just because there's been no one to take care of it. Oh, scorched berserker. Yeah, whatever. He'll come over in. Um, <laughs> Jurassic Park Lost. Uh, I've never played any of the Jurassic Park. I'm not a dinosaur fan. I'm not going to lie. I don't hate them. They just don't do anything for me. Unless it's a real dinosaur. An owl or somebody getting their butt kicked. I'm very jumpy when I play these games. Uh, would Arcue Gaming focus more on preservation and archiving, or is it more about looking at culture as part of the design choices for a given time period? Uh, excellent question. Ugly laughs. So there are several branches of Arcue Gaming, because nothing can be simple. Some forms of Arcue Gaming are basically what I'm doing, where we're interacting with the game world because we're applying basically field techniques to the game. Um, so basically surveying, like when I was doing, I would survey. I'm trying not to touch things because I don't want to change how they initially are presented, which is normally why I'll go in and I'll take pictures just so I'll have a record of what it looked like because inevitably it's going to get messed up. Um, just because that's, that's just how archaeology is inherently destructive. As far as like collecting, traditionally collecting artifacts and preserving artifacts and stuff like that, there's really no game mechanics for that kind of a thing. Yes, I have an inventory, but I also have a weight limit. And even when you go to your camps, the camps can only hold so much. I haven't hit my limit yet, but I'm sure I'll hit it eventually. My plan is to build a really nice camp that is a really cool kind of um, museum, but I haven't gotten around to that yet. As far as preserving the game itself, like the game code, there is an entire branch of Arceo Gaming that looks at the literal code of the game and will try to preserve or at least record game code as it changes, which is why it's significant for me when I log into these games and there has been a major update or something, because a lot of times things will change or in general, the code will have been improved so that the graphics look a little bit better, or there happens to be an extra rock where there only used to be two. Little things like that. That's a significant change in the code of the game. I don't have the, the ability to archive all of that um, because I don't do back-end stuff with games, but there are people that do do that, and they, they like to preserve really old games, especially like Asteroids or like the original Pac-Man or Tetris and that kind of thing. So they're looking at those kind of games as if they were both artifacts and um, archaeological sites because they do change. Um, and there's just people like me who play these games and die a lot. Oh, okay, we're in a cemetery. Oh, okay, this is a Brotherhood of Steel cemetery. Brotherhood of Steel cemetery. What have we got going on here? So we've got some plants. What is that? Oh, crap. I forget about those. All right, so, oh, this is nice. We're not looking at the wild carrot flower. We're actually looking at the tombstone itself. This motif, I would point at it, but well, okay. This motif here is actually a pretty common um, 
colonial era um, tombstone motif. Actually, you'll see these on real tombstones. Um, and you'll see this kind of phenomenon on real tombstones too, where they sink into the ground. So you see how this one's much taller and then this one's kind of lower. It's because the gravity of the tombstone itself just kind of pushes it further into the ground. And so sometimes when you go into really old cemeteries, you'll see really short tombstones. They're not actually that short. The rest of it's just kind of like an iceberg. It's sunk into the ground. So now we've got these tombstones and then we've got these very alive flowers. So I guess that's implying someone's been taking care of the graveyard. This is again, this again is another kind of really common motif that you'll see. Can I even read that? No. If I use my... Um... Oh, hey. Um... No, that's not actually... Okay, these aren't actual words, but these are kind of the way that the letters would look if you were to read some of the older tombstones. <laughs> so... Do I want my sword? No. I want my ox. My mighty ox. Um, okay, now we're seeing a repeat of... Oh, redund redundrons. You remember we were talking about assets earlier. We're just seeing a repeat of assets here. There's only so many tombstones. So we're seeing a repeat of those. Um... Like a hose and a bag of fertilizer. It's interesting that they're using this as both a garden space and as a cemetery space. And again, we've got the Brotherhood flag in here. So, I mean, kind of implies that it's a Brotherhood cemetery, but these are really old tombstones. So, like these predate the 1950s. Um, what did I see up here? Wait, it's a shack. This is where I usually get murdered. Oh, this is the formal entrance. Okay, cool. Alright, see, I was talking to you guys about the... Um, we'll not get too close to these guys. I was telling you guys about the other types of uh, deceased people in the game. And these kind of Pompeii-looking guys. Uh, this is what I would expect as far as the... Like, if you died during the blast. The only thing is, is there's a... Um, Crap, what are they called? Scorched. There's a group of people called Scorched, and they're they're enemies, but they're also NPCs sometimes. And I think the story with the Scorched is that their bodies are basically hardening into whatever this is. And so I actually think these are deceased Scorched who have made it to the final stages of the Scorched disease progress because they're not born they're inflicted but they've got like these uh petrified my butt they got like these little green crystals growing out of them and that's what a lot of the scorched have as well i'm not entirely sure if i'm correct but i do know that i'm not going to touch those oh hey a letter paper does it say anything notice of expulsion um to vacate the oh it's an asylum that explains the chapel if you fail to accept relocation you may be imprisoned by local authorities failure to accept your relocation includes remaining in your room past midnight tonight if you have an emergency contact on file they will be notified Please refrain from causing damage to the premise as you leave. Legal action will be pursued if you... And you may be sued for damages. Mr. Benjamin Yates Rutledge. That's a name. If you have any possessions in your room, they must be removed at the time of your expulsion or they will be considered forfeit and destroyed. Our prep. So I wonder if they were leaving... It's the same thing. Yeah, I have two of them now. So this is what I'm talking about as far as like storyline. So now I know I'm at the Alagahemi. 
well, I guess I could have read that sign, but we didn't come this direction first. So now I know I'm at the asylum. I know there was some kind of expulsion process going on inside the asylum. Let's go this way around so I don't have to disturb those guys. It's a painted wooden door. We got... Um, sniper rivals don't really work for me too much. I was hoping for that. Gate guard primer. So this used to be the only way, way back when the game first launched, this was the only way players could interact with the world and get information about the world, is through these little notes that were left, because everyone else is dead except for you. Um, the main building is off limits, tolerance party, climbing the building, defacing the building, prying open doors, hunting on park lands, <laughs> use your judgment. Mm. Like deer or beavers are fine. Aggressive animals should be removed by animal control. If that cow shows up again, call Howie. She's always getting out. Dang cow. Don't approach the original residents. Most of them are friendly enough, but you can never be sure. If you are ever confused or not sure how to handle something, just call my number. It's on the list. Right, take that too. Mm -hmm. I thought I saw it first. Yeah, I did. Look, you can never have enough first aid in this game. Anything else? Um, for some reason I need boom cutters. Alright, we're cool. I do pillage a little in these games because you have to. I think there's, it's unavoidable. Some games you can get away with not taking items and things, but this is not one of those games. Right. There he is. Friend or foe? Okay, that's the berserker I was looking at the other day. So wait. So this is the Scorch I was telling you about. Oh, you're a warrior. I don't think I've fought one of you yet. I was gonna say, they, they do have the ability to use guns. It should be fairly evident why I don't play with other people. Where are you? There you are. A damn bull in a china shop. No idea what's going on. Sorry, my phone went off. Don't call me, I'm busy killing imaginary people. Is my phone still on? No. Okay. Sorry about that. Somebody called me and my phone answered itself. Uh, okay, so those were the Scorched I was telling you about. Terminal. Yeah, that's what I thought. This is Brotherhood of Steel. So they must have gotten overtaken by the Scorch. See? Storyline. It's a sonic generator. Was that it? Usually there's a lot more guys. Automated surface to air missile. Alright. Can I repair it? Hmm. I don't want to use my gears. We'll come back to this. This is this is a storyline thing, I'm sure. Of which I've only played about a quarter of it, so. Um, was it zero? Nope. Nine. There we go. Okay, so apparently the scorched have broken in. They've taken over the. Uh, don't step on that guy. Right, but see, I was talking about how the Scorch have like these things growing out of it. And they're not zombies. They have they have brains. They they have the ability to to, to think. So they're they're not They're still people, I guess is my point. They're not mindless. The really mindless guys seem to be the uh, the cultists who are fully human. They're just crazy. Okay, I can go inside. Have we looked at everything so far. 
Hmm. Alright, so at some point, the asylum was closed down. The Brotherhood moved in. They built up a defense here. Not a bad building to pick for a defense building. I mean, if you really think about it, this old wooden building or stone building here. We got a collapsed roof over there. More fortification. I'm just looking at the place. <coughs> and coughing off screen, hopefully. Let's see. Oh, shoot. And because I did that, I lost my chat. Hang on, guys. I'm here, I promise. Um, there's a hot topic surrounding digital preservation of games and how hard it is getting... So it's cool to get a peek behind the scenes. Yeah, there's actually a lot of talk about... Sorry about the shaking. About how to preserve video games. And, you know, the, the age-old discussion of should we even be trying? Like, is it really important? I don't know if we need to preserve every game, but I think there are some games that probably should be, like... The original Pong, for example. I know it's incredibly basic and it's incredibly simple. And yes, you could rewrite the code of the original Pong game, but it would not be the original Pong game. And since that is basically one of the first games ever made. Ooh, what's that? It's colorful. Um, yeah, I think that would be something that would be worth preserving. Balloons. Huh. Well, you know we're going to go look at that. Alright, so here's another one of those random guys. He's just kind of chilling. He doesn't really have anything going on. I guess he just came out here to sit and watch the balloons. We are so going to die. Let's go! I say we as if you all are part of this. Like you have some agency over what's happening here. What is that? I don't know what that is. Is it going to eat me? Diseased cran- No, that is not a diseased cranberry. We're gonna not go over there. <laughs> Alright, that's cool. We're gonna leave that to be. I don't know what it is, but it spat something toxic out. Um, no. Brain fungus? Yes. Take some of that. I uh. do hope Master Jimmy returns soon with more lemons. We've gotten a few complaints with the new formula. It's a lemonade stand. Huh. Are you friendly? Huh. Alright. That's the weirdest place I could think of for there to be a lemonade stand. I don't need a combat rifle. Who now did you kill? Delicious lemonade. Lovingly handcrafted with locally sourced ingredients. Hmm? Is it then? Mr. Squeeze. I can trade with him. Um... This is one of those moments that I just love in this game. Like, it's so random, and it has nothing to do with anything. And you know it's a side quest, because serving delicious lemonade. he's talking about lemonade how he needs ingredients. With locally sourced ingredients. ingredients. Delicious ingredients. Anybody want to guess what he's making lemonade out of? Remember, he's a robot. He's a robot. Can't trust them, they're robots. There's actually a whole storyline in the game about um, robots and AI taking people's jobs away. And there was like a whole uprising about it. Uh, I think I picked the wrong way to go here. I don't think I can get back up there. Crap. If I had power armor, I could do it. But you'll notice there's a distinct lack of power armor. There we go. This is fine. This is fine. All right, I guess we're ready to go into the asylum. We're going to assume that the asylum has a bunch of scorched inside of it. I think that's a safe assumption to make. Is that... Oh, dear. 
Okay, so another thing you need to know is there's there's dragons in this game. And the dragon is literally called a uh, scorched and um this this is a pile of dragon poo. Scorched beast. Yeah, I don't I don't know why they don't just call them dragons cuz it, it's a freaking dragon. And now I'm nervous because the wind sounds like the way its wings sound when it flies, so now I'm scared. You're not really supposed to be able to take Scorch Beasts out by yourself, and I certainly cannot do it, so... So that'll be fun. Anyway. did I, Was I answering a question and then I drifted off? Because that's very common. Um... Yeah, Momentum Mori. Yeah, games can be like that, though. Uh, more developers are doing the same things to avoid the need to translate save time and not risk language conflicts. Uh, oh, not... I'm um, Molly, are you talking about not having, like, NPCs that you have to interact with? Yeah, rookies will be. Uh, actually, there are spots in the game where you will see shadows and... I mean, if you didn't know about that, you wouldn't really know what you were looking at, but they do put those details in the game. Your famous last words. I, the reason I don't play with anyone, honestly, is because A, I suck at it to begin with. I, I really suck at this game. And B, my equipment, my equipment and my internet lag so badly. Even though this is a gaming laptop, the internet is just not great. And it's, I, I feel like I'm more of a burden than I'm a help. Sam, we are playing Fallout 76. But balloons, exactly. Hello, Missy Suspicious. You just got the notification? Um, is it a survivor game? I guess, yes. Uh, but the, <laughs> Dragons are fab. Hopefully, I mean, on the one hand, I hope you guys can see the dragon, but also I don't want to see the dragon. There, There's two things that scare the crap out of me in this game, and one of them is the Scorch Beast, and the other thing is the actual Mothman. The actual Mothman in this game will F your shit up. I'm not saying if you weren't a better player who was better prepared that you couldn't survive both of those incidences. I am not that guy. Okay, here we go. All right, so... Again, remember there are other people in this world currently. So if the place looks particularly picked over, that's because someone else has gotten here before me, which is fine. It also means they killed all the people before me. And from the sounds of it are still here. Great. Let's ring the bell. Yes. Hello? Nobody ever comes out when you ring the bell. Yeah, see, there's someone else has been here. But they didn't take the emergency kit. Fool. Or maybe they did and they didn't. They were expecting to come back. You're on a you're on a public server though. You need to take things when you find it. I guess I'll take that. I'll need it for something. Table knife. How are you already thirsty? We don't need no whiskey. Meat pile. Mm. That's delicious. Okay, this is the... These little hollow tapes are the other way that the game put in to communicate the major storyline or just other little side storylines with players early on. There are NPCs now, so there are random people that you can interact with. They're not particularly helpful, but to be fair, neither are these. So I'm going to play this and we can all listen together. Recon notes to self. I knew it. I remember coming here on a school field trip. The walls are as strong as I remember. Paladin's going to love it. Power lines run underground and connect up to Thunder Mountain. And so much space to grow into. But boy, is the whole thing a fixer-upper. And the smell. And there's the small problem of the ghouls. But we've got power armor and miniguns for that. Do I want to live in a madhouse? Well, 
It's better than being crammed in like sardines in venture. Oh, hey. Let's go out. E we'll, we'll come back. Yeah, John. Okay, that was done. Speaking of NPCs, I found one. Um, other things I want to talk about as far as like when we're talking about using uh, cultural material to set the atmosphere of the game. You know, the outside, the exterior of the building and the inside of the building both invoke the feeling of an older style building. And obviously that's intentional. Is that dude snoring? Anyway, uh, the other thing that they're doing, and you can see it better in this room, but that's where the NPC is. Notice the wallpaper. The design of the wallpaper, I know this sounds so nerdy, but the design of the wallpaper itself is an older design. You can actually find this particular pattern in the real world. Um, but because, again, they're trying to invoke a feel inside this building of not only opulence, because remember, these old asylums were supposed to be like, well, they were opulent. Um, so you have this really fancy, this would have been a very expensive wallpaper at the time. I know wallpaper is not like that crazy anymore, but it used to be. And it used to be a sign of wealth. So we've got this here. But it's old and it's faded and it's torn and it's molded along with the ceiling. You know, everybody here is worried about like the radioactivity and that no one thinks about the damn mold. Anyway, it's just another way of the games of the game conveying to us not only the age of the building, but like the history of this building. We know it's an asylum, right? And we can tell from the outside that it was a very expensive asylum, a very expensive building to build. Not only is it made out of what it looks to be probably limestone, which means it had to be mined and brought in. It's probably Indiana limestone. That good old Oletic stuff. Um, I'm just guessing. But we've also got this fancy wood, the uh, wallpaper. We've got this crown uh, molding around the top. We've got, uh, what are these called? The chair protectors, waste baseboards, I think, or is that the bottom? Anyway, you've got this wood paneling here. These are all touches that kind of speak to a richer environment, right? Oh, I saw that. Um, we've got these like faux Tiffany style lamps. We've got this Rola, uh, Rolodex um, desk. We've got these nice poofy chairs. We've got artwork on the wall. Who's Skippy and why do I need to talk to him? No, Skippy, we're not talking to you. Right? And then we have random stuff that's been brought in since then. You know, we've got all these files that are of no use to us. We've got the suitcase. We've got these old computers that have clearly been moved around. I'm not going to use DeSalvas. We've got weapons left behind by whoever the scout team was of DeSalva. Oh, ghouls. Okay, so the ghouls are probably the closest thing they have to, like, zombies on here. They really are, like, mindless. What is that? Deceased what? Disease charred feral ghoul. Okay, you're what I hear walking around. Um. Kittens. This thing. It's so iconic. I hate the way the sound works. He's on the other side of this wall. He can't get to me, but I can hear him. And he pop the sound pops into my headphones, so it sounds like he's behind me when he's not. Ooh, glasses. Ooh, another support. Uh, another thing. More information. A bed. How's my health? Let's take a nap. Does my character look cool? Yeah, it's right. I have a new cola jacket on. Anyway. Let's see. Um, well, there is a day-night cycle in the game. I don't know what cycle we're in right now. See, even John. Jonah. Jonah even says it's nap time. Um, I'm a big fan of the Fallout world. And of course, I think older games are kind of true. A newer luck. 
still details are fascinating. You know, some games, like some of the AAA games that come out, this being one of them, sometimes they just kind of rush a game out. And, and they do. They kind of feel flat and they kind of feel formulaic, which with some games, I guess that's not terrible. Uh, but with games like this, you kind of want a little bit more personality in it, I guess. <laughs> We're not eating the meat pile diary. Molly, it was fun to have you here. Thank you. Um, Wayne's coding. Thank you. Uh, maybe a potato. We are playing Fallout 76. Just want to get caught up with that. All right, let's go talk to Jonah after we take those bobby pins. Uh, we don't need a straight jacket or a pillow. All right, let's go talk. I know I keep saying that. Let's go talk to Jonah before we go. Hey, hey, buddy. Oh, Aww. Oh, Bobby, what you sad about? Do you mind coming back later? I really just need some time alone. Good morning. Forever. Actually. Wednesday, April 10th. Take pill. Oh. Um, do I be a butthead? I try not to be too big of a dick in this game. It's, it's my sister. I thought it was over this already. She took her final stand here at Fort Defiance. Wait, I'm in Fort Should Defiance? Be here with her. I'm such a coward. Hey, buddy, it's okay. <laughs> like I say, I, I try not to be too big of a butthead in this place, this game. I don't really want to do anything for you, but. Um. Uh... Alright, I'll leave you be. Thanks. No problem. We'll come back. He's not going anywhere. Asylum worker hat? You mean a nurse's hat? Do we want to wear a pink? Yes, we do. There we go. You know what? I look snazzy. Here we go. I promise I can do this. There we go. Now I look like something out of a nightmare. Excellent. Alright, I know that things around here. There's a restricted area. He's not gonna quit breathing in my ear until I go kill him. He's all the way down there. Fix this? No. Somebody's been down here. Why didn't you kill the big bad while you were here, whoever you were? Thanks for nothing. Yeah, man. You know what that actually sounds like? That doesn't sound like that guy. It sounds like one of the they're like these floating brain sacks. They look like um jellyfish or octopus. And they, like, spit various awful chemical things at you, and they're harder than hell to kill. Floaters, I think they're called. I was wondering when you did that. Okay. Well, that's a new graphic. Okay, now I know it's a floater. Alright, well, we're in the bathtub room. With the hose. Hmm. Any guesses what happened in here? Uh, we'll take the rad X. Well, I can sell the psycho, I guess. When I play the game, I don't use any of the alcohol or the illicit substances in here. Mainly because chlorine. This is a hospital. Wow, okay. Well, let's put a story together here. We got a bag of chlorine over here, a fire hose on the wall, a chair, and this guy. Guy, gal, person. Deceased. Jeez. But yeah, now I know there's a floater here and I fucking hate that. I'm gonna let you have your wooden spoon, my man. It was clearly important to you. 
Mm. I love when they freeze like that. We go away now. Mm. You got a fuse. You got nothing. Okay, cool. Um, I'll take the scrap. I'm very picky about the things I take because A, they all weigh something and B, I just don't need that much stuff anymore. I hear the breather. Where is it? Is it outside? No, that would... Ah, great. Thanks, Direct Zero. Whoever the hell you are. Who's getting nuked? Right. Attention, citizens. That's where the blast zone is. We are here. We'll be fine. However, we might be able to see it. Let's go see if we can go see it. Because the, the mushroom claws are actually really cool. I mean, it's a game, so I don't know what you want me to say, but let's go see if we can watch it. Should be fine. I don't think anybody's... Sh uh, this is one of those really cool pictures. I think I took this one. That's the rainstorm coming in. It looks like it would look in real life. Like if you were really standing on a cliff and watching a rainstorm come in, this cloud over here, which I think my head's in the way of, you can see the rain coming down from it over that looks like a power station. And then you've got the other cloud bank on the other side and then the mountains in between. This is what it would really look like. Obviously, like, it would look more real, clearly. But the the attention to detail in the weather in this game is always stunning to me. But yeah, I want to see if we can't watch the mushroom cloud. Maybe. Someday. Someday my screen will load. Someday we'll play it. <laughs> no meds for you. Let's see. Oh, you just think it's a sunny, bright, happy day. Oh man, I didn't mean to t hit him. That's what they do. And then that cloud down there is, hey, that guy's new. Hello, dead body. Which way do we need to look? Oh, we might be on the wrong side. No. Well, now we're definitely on the wrong side. Check the map. Crap, we're on the wrong side. Let's see if I can get us over there real fast. There it is, there it is, there it is! See it? Ah, oh, there, it went off, dang it! Sorry guys, I'm trying. Is it gone already? Ah, sorry dudes. I tried. The load screen took forever. It usually changes the color of the sky for quite a while. Is it not? Maybe I haven't maybe it hasn't dropped yet. I think I'm pointing the right direction now. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, okay, okay. There! That cool? I'm so glad it's not real. <laughs> What's the quote? I am death. Look upon ye mighty and tremble or something like that. What's going on over there? Mm. There's something. I guess they're fighting the Scorch Beast over there. I think. Death, Death from Above quest, I think that's the end of the major storyline. And 
what you do is you get coordinates for the Scorch Beast Queen. Um, and it's not something you can do on your own. You have to have a team with you. Okay, how do I get back up? I got so happy, I, so eager I fell off the cliff here. But, yeah, something exciting happened. Anyway, I think that's the end of the storyline, the major storyline that I have not completed. I think I'm about halfway through it because I keep missing my doorways. Getting distracted by other things. So. Alright, let's get back in here. Let's go look at the asylum again. Run, forest! the nest up here There's, where did you come from where did either of you come from oh your brotherhood oh how did i miss you the first time i walked in here huh shows how much i was paying attention i'm fungi <laughs> they nuke cheyenne mountain Are you in West Virginia, Rockies Whoopi? I'm glad you're enjoying it, Rena. I'm gonna... The goal here is to play this and then I think... Well, I know. I'm gonna edit the video down. And then I'm gonna post it on the Archeo Gaming channel that I've been slowly building. Did I see something or was that a game glitch? Yeah, we're gonna go with game glitch. There's a lot of those. And it's okay. We are always on the hunt for Nucola full bottles because we collect those. Yes, we do. I do have a real world collection of bottle caps just in case nuclear fallout occurs and that becomes the form of money that we're using. Um, got some dandy boy apples. I think we're hungry. We're not that thirsty, though. Oh, but we'll drink some wild water. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. All right, there's... All right. When they said restricted, they meant it. I still don't want to speak to Skippy, sorry. I don't know who Skippy is. Um, let's see. What are we interpreting here? Stairs don't think I need those. Do I need 5.56 rounds? I don't think I do. The Scorch Queen. See, that, I think that's the point. I should supposed to kill the Scorch Beast Queen. Turning red because I'm next to it. That's why. Now we're in the laundry room. I think. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Here we go. Yeah, we're in the laundry room. Think of interest in here. Tin can. Yoink. Oh, you know what? That's me breathing. Ooh, we got a forest one. I don't know what that means. That's right. Yeah, we want some caps. And that can. Yoink. Always collect cans. Wait, which one have we got here? Now they're both weathered. How do we look now? There we go. There's my girl. The breathing noises me because I have a gas mask on. I guess I don't need it on. I'll put my goggles back on. Oh, whatever. Now I am a nurse. I am the nurse of death. There we go. I have to put my weapon away. 
That's my pit boy. This is me not being able to turn. There we go. Stop it. Here. I'm fancy. Anyhow. So there's nothing over here that we want because we don't have the card to get in. So we'll probably find that later somewhere else on something that we'll probably end up having to kill. So, all right. Now we're inside the asylum proper. Wait, what? I thought I killed everybody. So you will notice that like the quality of the wall here has changed. It's basically just like a paint job, <coughs> excuse me, on top of um, stucco. I love this detail, by the way. I love that chipping in the in the paint. It's a spotlight. Why isn't it on? See, these little guys turn on. I want to fix it so it will kill the things that are going to try to kill me. All right, how far did I get last time? I swear, where is that? It's got to be upstairs. Or in there, whichever. What does that sound like? Well, I tell you, something bigs up here. And or a lot of them. Bathrooms! If you watch CGU games, you get it. If you don't, trust me. There's a sack in the toilet. Well, we're going to take that just because it's there. I don't need the metal bucket. Who who put these holes here? That's the one thing I never understand. Oh well, yeah, I'll take some antibiotics. Um, sounds like there's dogs. Oh, I guess we could have gone that way then. No, it was not. Sorry. I had my light off this entire time. I apologize. Where is it? Oh, it's a teddy bear. I usually collect the teddy bears, but I have the brown one. I love these old-timey radios. I remember this is supposed to be retro-futuristic from the 1950s. Uh, and so, yeah, we've got this... These old timey radios, the really big ones. My grandparents had one of these in their living room. It has like a record player and a tape deck and everything in it. I wonder what ever happened to that thing. Anyway, yeah, so every time I see one of these, I remember Christmas and uh, holidays at my grandparents' house because they would always turn that bad boy on and then they would play Bing Crosby's uh, albums. Funnel cakes. We would love some funnel cakes, thanks. All right. Well, if I got the weathered one, it would match my outfit, but I'm good. I don't think we need every single one of them. Where did I put the, the typewriter? I don't know. Right. Try to be a little more um, steady here, sorry. <laughs> How did you come from? <laughs> Hell yeah, I want your caps. Um, like I said, I sell these typically. So, um, sometimes the noises are just noise, but sometimes they're not. I have a uh, I have a bonus card that gives me bonuses when I find stem packs and stuff, so. So if I, you see me getting like a bunch of stuff every time I go past a medical cabinet, it's because I literally have a boost for that. So your mileage may vary. Oh, a story. All right, we've got a, we've got a basketball over here. Well, that's grim. All right, well, you know, put your thinking caps back on <laughs> or don't. Pick. Uh, there, there's that. 
It's got something going on here. Got an RP and Blamco brand mac and cheese and a cuckoo clock. You think the eyes may be missing or where is initials RP? We're gonna leave the pillow there. It's all right. It's fine. We don't need it that badly. We are gonna eat your macaroni and cheese though. Oh, no, no. I wonder what the cuckoo clock has to do with it. I've never seen one flew over the cuckoo's nest, so that might be a reference to that. Sometimes they do that. He looks, his arms look weird. It's like they put his arms on backwards or something. But, uh, and there's a vodka bottle. Oh, hey, I had radworms. I didn't even know that. <laughs> when did I get radworms? All right. So, okay, there you go. There's that. Um, I don't, I don't really know if there's like a whole lot left to the imagination here. So, but I mean, if you have an interesting story, you let me know. Why can I never remember the right one? I'm the one that set the buttons up. Hmm. All right. You guys get to watch my terrible lock picking skills. This is pretty good. Nope, that's not it. That's definitely not it. Remember, guys, a skill level of one. No. Nope. There we go. Cool. Well, there's a shot glass in the bag. This stuff's random. I used to think maybe they weren't random, but the stuff that's inside the containers is typically fairly random, so... Um, it doesn't help when you're trying to create a story, unless you just want to... Aww. Why is it upside down? Okay. Well, that's new. Let's see... R E D R U. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, we'll take the bucket just to get it out of the way. Oh! Red Rom. A surgical tray. Our chair in the corner. There's a, there's a, there's a whole thing going on in here, guys. We've got a chair in a corner. We've got an upside down sketch of a cat and a rocket ship. Got red rom spelt out with the blocks, and um, then we got this guy. Who is. How do I crouch again? Is it shift? No, that's run. Nope, that's my weapon. I didn't know Alt did that. Control? There we go. I'm hidden now. No one can see me. Shh. But what we can see is he's tried to crawl under the bed. And obviously got caught. Interesting. I wonder what all this has to do with each other. Again, this could be a movie reference and I'm just missing it, so. Hmm. It's like, I want to stand up now. Ah, I didn't really mean to do that, but alright. No. Yeah. There's a reason why I have over a hundred of these little efforts. And yes, I do have the plus three lock picking skill. Ooh, hey. There's like a whole lot going on around here. Um Okay, so this is a little little easier to kind of interpret here. We got like a picnic going on. Even brought some flowers. There's like a shish kebab over there. What's this gonna end up being? Oh, he made some tea. Brought a hot burner. I don't think I really need to see anything else in the room to really kind of get a feel for. Now keep in mind they're inside a locked room. So these two packed a lunch brought some flowers and a napkin or a, some tea a hot plate and this and they crawled into here to have a picnic and locked the door 
across the room from the guy who was trying to crawl under the bed where it says murder. So, you know, we saw those that letter of expulsion and it was like, you need to leave now. No exceptions. So I wonder... I wonder how many of these are supposed to be... Yes, I'm eating their food. How many of these are supposed to be like the residents who refuse to leave? I did all of that for pre-war money. Great. Was it worth it? No. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm going with this. Maybe this is like, they didn't know what was going on, but they didn't want to leave. So they holed up inside their room. They brought themselves a late night snack. I'm going to drink your tea. And locked the door so people couldn't get to them. That one's still confusing. Still trying to figure that one out. Um, I think I got distracted when I was telling you guys to look at the look at the way they're communicating that we're further inside the asylum and we're past the part where you know people would come to visit or where important people would walk in. You know, the front of the asylum, the offices in the front of the asylum were very well decorated. They had the fancy wallpaper. They had all the cool furniture. You know, they're very much trying to present. No, no, no. Dang it. <sighs> Great. Uh, anyway, they were very much trying to present an image of, you know, authority and opulence and wealth. And now we're back here in the actual asylum area. Oh, hey, that's why I could hear them. You know, looking up, it's a skill. Now we've got, excuse me, we've got, you know, the stucco, the crumbling stucco. We've got these stainless steel carts, the chairs, obviously, the gurneys, random trays. There's nothing fancy in here. All of the beds are very minimal. You've got the, you know, words that I can't come up with right off the top of my head. This little folding desk thing. I actually own one of these in real life. This desk, I actually own one of these. I use it for a sewing desk. Um, you got these crappy chairs. You got these things. Curtains, I guess we'll call them. Now, also, like all of this fallen wood and the debris and everything, that's post blast. So you can see, you know, the place has fallen apart. Yeah. And this is, we've got the blue level going on here. We've got this blue paint. You can see here that this is the upstairs. That's a yellow level. I'm sure if I get to the third level, I'll be able to see a different colored paint on the walls there too. So, but it's just, yeah, see these things, these things are really cool. Um, they're military issue too. So it's just another way that the game developers are trying to communicate the building itself pre whatever the hell happened, pre blast, you know? All right, so there's, I'm outside, I'm sitting on my porch, obviously, and the, um, the yard workers are over there, but all I heard were their voices, and I was like, there's voices in the asylum? Sorry if that picks up, and I'll apologize for it later. I got a whole thing going on here, it's even, like, spotlighted? Hey, yeah. I don't know how long this is going to last, so I may have to dip because I don't really like the noise, but we'll see. Because probably this is all going to get edited out anyway. But. Alright. We got dude with no head over here. He's got his cane. Got this lady over here. She's just in a like a rag dress, so I don't think she's a nurse. Interesting. I know. But we do have like some nicer furniture in here. So maybe this was a common room? We've got the radio going on again. I, uh, I apologize for all of the 
noise. It's going to be a minute. They just pulled out the lawnmower. Let me catch up with the chat real quick and then we'll see what we're doing with after that. Um, oh, that's right, Ricky. You're in, uh, Rocky, you're in Colorado. Let's see. Hello, Line Song. Hello, Sean Goes. <laughs> the room needs one stray sock. Eh. Ew. Oh, yeah. Rocky, you're probably on the list. Have I ever tried Planet Crafter? It's a game where you're supposed to transform a planet into a hab habitable place to live. No, I've not tried that. I did play No Man's Sky, which is not the exact same thing, but you're basically exploring random planets. Um, we always need tea, Rocky. We always need tea. <laughs> Missy's like, yeah, I'm gonna go get some. <laughs> Ooh, Irish breakfast. That's good stuff. Um... I don't think hiding under the pillow worked. <laughs> yeah, lock picking in this game is a thing. Mama Cat, your daughter was really into this game a couple years ago. A little ton of bottle caps in it for Christmas. Yeah, for a 4D experience. Yeah, sorry about that. I... My mic is picking it up. That doesn't necessarily mean it's getting picked up by the recorder, so... You guys let me know if it's too bad. But like I said, there's probably not a whole lot's going to happen around here. So as far as like what gets posted on my channel, probably is, this will be fine. It's like they were like, challenge accepted. I'm making that much noise. <laughs> I don't know who invented the leaf blower, but there's a special place in hell for them. Ooh, a red one. I don't have a red one. I don't need a plastic one. And it's it's escape. I never know what it is, honestly. Are we taking the typewriter? Yes. Where are these typewriters? I don't know. They're in my magical pockets, this is. The board. Yeah. Medkit. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, so this is obviously, just judging by the setup here, we're in some kind of an office with a radio. That medkit in the back. I don't know, maybe this was like a pill station. I'm already wearing that. And then we've got these two windows. So yeah, I'm gonna guess this was like a day room for the patients. Probably. So it's going to look a little nicer. Teasing me with these broken first aid packs. Alright, well, there's a thing. Now, I think according to story lore, the bomb dropped on Halloween. I just noticed that. Jeez. So, a lot of times you'll find little reminders that it was Halloween around the time that basically time stopped. So we've got like these charred jack-o'-lantern decorations. Um, yeah, sure, we'll eat some gum drops. Is that bubble gum? Heck yeah, it is. I, I would like the bubble gum. And uh, if I, oh, that's a cat. Walk. Oh my God. Oh, it's a flash, flash. Fosnocht mask. I don't have a Fosnocht ma mask, but I do now. So this guy got to decorate for Halloween. Somewhat. Now, were they kicked out before or after Halloween is the question. Um, all right. I mean, you had two doors, my man. Also, here's the other question, like... 
Um, let's just take it. Oh, glue. We always need glue. Three of 78? Are you insane? Holy crap. Oh, thank God. I think they're done. All right. Well, what's going on? Our group was attacked by desperate folks who weren't interested in trading with or joining our collective. Such senseless violence. They killed Bertha, even though I showed them that she was a milk cow and all the egg-laying chickens, too. Half of the remaining group left for Monograph. Monaga, sorry. Saying that they couldn't continue to carry the survivors from... Otoga. They warned us not to follow. Those of us who are left are abandoning Algaheni tomorrow. The people who attacked us will just be back for more eventually. I think they're from that little town north of Watoga where I bought preserves and antiques. Hmm. So we're going to try to find survivors up north near Harper's Ferry. It's a long walk, but hopefully we can find other good people or just avoid the bad ones. Okay, so they're not going to be 78 notes here in the asylum. It's just the story of this person and their long trek. Let's get up here. What are we doing? I think we're just... You have no legs or arms. And I'm not sure what to do with this one. There's a straitjacket. But like Captain Dan, he's got no legs and he also has no arms. But somebody put those there. All right. Why not? This was a good one to come into. I, I hope you guys are enjoying it, but there's like a lot of stuff to interpret in here. Um, restricted area. Employees must wash hands before returning to work. Hey, it's the showers. And the room I couldn't get into. Cool. All right, that's one way to do it. What have you spelled out? TDY? Oh. Maybe, uh, maybe they're their initials? But there you go. I like, I like when they put the touches like this in here. I mean, you can interpret this in a number of ways if you want, but... Am I going to eat your dandy boy apples? Yes, so I am. And your sugar bombs. Man, I'm actually full. So, there's like a... I don't want to disturb too much. It's like a mitt back there. I would take pictures right now, but A, I know I can come back to this, and B... Um, I don't want to make too much of a mess of it. It won't let me go back. More dandy boys, some gumdrops, some purified water, more dandy boys, an oven mitt, and what I really came back here for. Well, that's kind of sad. All right, so, hmm. I thought maybe we were looking at the residents who refused to leave when they were told to leave because it's some of the stuff seems like that but it could also be that we're looking at the settlers that were here at one point but i think actually i think in my opinion in my opinion i think it makes more sense that we're looking at ex inmates here than that we're looking at the settlers. I don't think I need any of that stuff. We're in another washroom. We don't see any chlorine in this one though. So there's that. Oh, ew. I think that's the first time I've ever seen one with mushrooms growing on it. Mildly terrifying. Hmm. Yeah, that's not the way I want to go. Is that fertilizer? Okay. All right. That's another one I'm 
not entirely sure how to take that. Again, it might be a reference to something. I'm missing it. If you know, let me know. He has a room without something disturbing inside of it. That disturbs me more than anything. Hmm. We are getting a feel for what these rooms may have looked like, though. We've got the bed. We've got a table. We've got a chair. They all seem to have at least those aspects in them. So... All right. Oh, we'll find a way in there. Okay. Oh, hey, one of these. Another fancy area. We got nicer furniture, a nicer chair, wheelchair. Well, now I want in here. Is there a way in through here that I missed? No. We'll be back. Nothing is ever hidden that well. All right, let's um, skirt this real fast. We're not done on the yellow floor. Okay. Got a bench. Got a nice-ish table and chairs. We got some chalk. Um, it's kind of neat. I'm not sure what I'm looking at. Anyway, I would take pictures, but it takes me forever to get the picture set up, and I kind of just want to explore a little bit, and I don't want to, like, hold up too long doing this. You know, running back and forth with the game. And I don't know who came through and cleared everybody out for me, but thank you. All right, so this is through the hole. There's that. All right. Nothing that spectacular. It is interesting that these two little corner rooms have, like, nicer furniture in them. This one also has a stool. Looks like it's got a table. Would have had the same kind of chair that the upstairs room had. Same over here. We've got, like, the stool, the nice table and chairs. But we still got that green folding ta uh, table. Have I done these yet? Uh, nope. Didn't I just get done saying thanks for clearing shit out for me? Showers? Yay, I leveled! Yay! Well, I will give them this. They were noisy, but they were fast. This is a game glitch. They don't- they don't do that normally. Alright. So, we're back down on the bottom floor again. Hey, buddy. I don't know why it does that. And it is very disturbing. <laughs> When their faces explode out of their skulls like that. I, I don't know why it's doing that. <laughs> Yoink. Alright, what do you gotta talk about? Hospital incident report. Resident psychiatrist Dr. Kessel. We had a fight break out today. All the patients in the dining room area for the morning meal and all the attending staff were present. Uh, Patient 32 has never had any problems with violence, but can be verbally abusive to whoever happens to be in the area. Uh, the staff intervened, but patient 3E2 broke free from restraint by biting into one of the nurse's hands. You. Uh, another nurse and I chased her down the hallway while the rest of the staff tried to contain the patients in the dining room who were obviously agitated by what just happened. We were finally able to hold her and administer a sedative and the unfortunate nurse whose hand had been torn open received treatment. All the other patients have returned to their routines, but patient 3E2 and 7C1 will need to be monitored in case this is the start of habitual violent behavior. 
prognosis for either of them being released has <clears throat> slipped even further into statistical irrelevancy. Uh, I didn't do this. Okay. Got a lot of teddy bears here. Alright. Interesting. The cool thing about sometimes picking up these little story bits is sometimes when you find... Oh yeah, that's the guy I killed. Sometimes when you find the room that they're talking about, like if we ever find the dining area. Um, I'm going to finish saying what I was going to say. Sometimes you will find the the scene as it played out set up when they describe them on the tapes like that, but not every time, just sometimes. Um, if if I haven't mentioned, you know, like content warning recently, then I, you know, you're all adults. You know, this is a game. Okay, that's not what I thought I was going to walk in on, but there is a lighter and some chalk and a cigarette. But this isn't written in chalk. Interesting. And where is your head? Because that's not your head. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it that there. I'm, I don't. That creeps me out. I, I can just stay there. It's fine. I don't need a lighter that badly. I think we've already done this. Yeah. yeah we've already been through here. All right. But yeah, that used to be the only way you could really interact with the storyline of the game. Yeah. So the upper floor has no color. The upper floor is the white floor. Snazzy. Oh, I don't... Well, yeah, it's mine now. Did I have the yellow hat? kind of like the red hat, so we're just going to take this one. And apparently I need a microscope too. It's a dirty white uniform. Um, sure. If I find the red one, I'm definitely wearing that one. I look good in red. What are we looking at through here? Alright. This, this floor is a bunch of chaos. Look, I play enough horror games. I know better. Anyway. <laughs> That's clearly not blinking, but whatever. Uh, this is more of the same, really. But this is the uppermost floor, so... All right, maybe there are 78 letters. Saffron fell through some floorboards while scouting on the second floor and sprained her ankle. All things considered, we lucked out. It could have been much worse. Need more coal, get more rooms for survivors, keep training Watagans on the basics, send scouting groups to look for nearby farms for supplies. We need more seeds. Someone mentioned that they saw some chickens. I have never seen chickens in this game. Sometimes these folks remind me of my students on a bad day. Clicks are threatening to split the group and we need to stop all the little personal insults and jibes if we're going to have a chance of revitalizing this place enough to make a real life. Do, do, do. Here we go. I don't know if that's the woman that was on the tape. I don't think that was the woman that was on the tape at the beginning that we listened to. I think this is someone else. I hear you. Where are you? Um. All right. Well, we have a minute.
I just want to say, this is what we see if we sit in the chair. There you have it. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. That was a door, though. What do they say? XA? A deflated ball. Stuck. Fashionable sunglasses. There's a dog bowl. A mannequin. Alright. Hey, buddy. Where'd you go? Where are you? Stop moving. hate when they move. Just sit there and take it. Oh, caps. Um, I think we're good health-wise. Where did they come from? I heard them open and close a door. I was already over here, wasn't I? I remember this plunger. Table lamp. If I was a little bit more banged up, I'd take her nap, but I'm not, so I'm not worried about it. I suppose that's one way to do it. Well, I mean, it's not the worst idea. Though, so, yeah, okay. So you got like your little raised bed going on. They're trying to grow a plant in here as best they can. Okay. I thought I recovered from ratworms. Oh well. Another office space. I can't tell if like the living room, the like the bedrooms were better downstairs or if they're roughly the same I should eat that melon mm, we don't need no beer of course if it's empty I can make a Molotov cocktail out of it but mm -hmm. dang woman It's hard to believe that I was going to take my students on a here for a field trip before everything went nuts. I'm so very thankful that I read up on this place and was able to make it here along with other refugees. Toga is lost. We can't go back while the robots are running amok. Oh, all right. Those robots, man, they are something else. The little bog towns and farms on the countryside wouldn't be able to sustain us the way this place can. This has everything we need. Priority list. Find a working terminal. The water treatment facility is having problems and may need to get another cleaning. Keep the coal coming. Get each survivor a room with a bed. <coughs> Why are you burning coal inside? I... Really? Maybe that's what killed you. Organize volunteers. Find where the darn roaches are coming from. Organize scouting groups. Especially with seeds. Get the kids sorting scrap. Try to catch that weird looking cow if it comes back. <laughs> other things we need to work on. Is just getting along with each other. Mm. I am of the opinion that should something like this ever happen. I think people would actually pull together a lot more than people think. Because like that survivor instinct is actually pretty ingrained into us as humans and we are actually pack animals well let's not fall through that <coughs> excuse me so i really think when push came to shove if something mind you this would never happen but if something like this did happen 
I really think we would all pull together as a species for the most part. I mean, you're going to have a couple people who are just bound to be assholes, but there you have it. There's my idea. My, my hope for humanity. I thought these were toilet stalls. They are. Yes, that is a ladle. Yes, that is a bowl. Yes, that is the toilet. Enough said. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Paying attention here. Yes, you can take fall damage in this game. Okay. Um... I might. Well, we're going in. Do not come to life. Hey, it's a prospector's hat. Do I have one of those? Can I kill it now? Gold scrap. <clears throat> Just like laying around? Oh, I see what's going on. Can't take it with you, lady. Can't take it with you. Oh, that's diluted. Yeah, we'll use it. How much is this gonna weigh? Apparently nothing. I stole your money. But you can keep your creepy ass monkey. Whoever invented that was a psycho. Right, let's see if we can do this without me falling. There we go. All right. All right, we're in the lab now. Good job. Why he has a clipboard? Who knows? We want the duct tape. We want the duct tape. Yes, I ate dog food. It was delicious. Why do I need that? I think I do need that for something. I forget what. I'm gonna leave that because I don't necessarily need it. Scale. Can always sell that. You want to guess how I'm gonna pick this safe? That's right. <clears throat> um, I guess we'll take it. The blood pack's good. Empty bottles. Nothing. All right, I haven't checked chat in a minute, so let me give a. Some reason the reflection no i can't clean the bathroom do you have a snackle box and fallout yes and it's mostly full of garbage the mushroom farm smelt like compost but i never thought it was compost bye mrs suspicious you know oddly enough rookies will be there's a lot of random things that you do with blood packs and it's like makes no actual sense like no one in their right mind would do that wow this is gonna suck don't knock me off thank you yeah it makes no sense like no one in their right mind would a use a blood pack that's just been you know sitting out hanging out holy crap he might die. Uh, where are you? Come back here. 
I did not just waste the stun pack on you. Where'd he go? Let me took my stuff. That does not make me happy. Oh no. That's a wind uh That's a windy boy. We don't say the actual name. We don't we don't want to deal with that bad boy. Can he get up here? Does he know I'm here? No, I don't know where he is. There he is. I don't, I don't think he can get up here. That doesn't mean he can't blast me. He's got like a scream attack thing. Um, Actually, I think he does know I'm here. Oh, shoot, he can get up here. We're gonna leave him there. You know, that would be really kind of a cool thing to put into this game as a mechanic, is like making it so that they can actually hear you when you talk. So when people do things like this... What did it? That screwdriver. That, you know, there's a the potential for it to hear us. I want it to scrap all the junk. Yes. Do I need it? Uh, can we scrap that? Yeah, we can scrap that. And uh, I'm just amused by all the different hats. Cool. What can we make here? I forget. Um. Yeah, let's make. Not food. <laughs> Let's make some right away. And then the uh, stem packs. We can make some stem packs. That's right. Excuse me, excuse me a minute while I craft some stuff. Alright. Radix resists. Yeah, I don't want that. It's just easier to deal with it after the fact. Okay, cool. Nuked flora. Smelting. Utility. I really thought I could make, um... For some reason, I thought I could make uh, multi mavtel cocktails over here, but I guess not. Oh shit! He came up here. Well, R.I.P. Me. How stupid am I? We're gonna go back the way we came. We're not that dumb. I'll come back and fight him later. When I have explosive stuff. When I have more than eight of these. Oh shit, he's gonna see me. Shit, 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 shit. Go away. I need to be able to run quickly. Oh hell yeah, we're burning it. Sorry, we have to run away. We bravely ran away. Um, how'd I get up here? Uh-huh, that wasn't it. How did I get up here? Where am I? I could probably make that. Should I make it? I don't know. We've already been over here. We're backtracking, so bear with me. Now, this is the place with all the, like, really crazy rooms. 
The flashing light that's not actually flashing. A bench. No. There it is. It's over there. Alright, we're trying to avoid the, the windy boy down there because it's bigger than I am. Alright, did we explore much of this? Yes. Is there like a whole ass branch of this that I missed? I don't remember. I don't I don't think we've explored the entirety of the yellow floor yet. So I'm gonna backtrack a little bit. Um you want, why can't I go through? Because the game is not built past that point, that's why. Mm, did I come this way? Oh, I didn't unlock it, so... Love it when it's the first try. It's a kind of a nicer room. Mm. Got a nurse happen here. So I'm going to guess maybe, I don't know, maybe this was a nurse's room? Maybe. It wasn't like that much nicer or anything. It just had the nice chair in it, so. What was that? Oh, did I kick the bucket off? Oops. All right. Okay. Yeah. I just noticed the handcuffs. All right, so we've got the blue garden gnome. We've got a kickball. We've got some cuffs on the bed. Um, but just on the one bed. People in the neighborhood being loud. Get out here? Can I walk? Yes? No? Sort of? Okay. I don't think I can make that. Maybe I can get through there? Nope, that's all boarded up, isn't it? Hmm. I don't think I can make that. Tempting. But the Wendigo is also down there and I don't want to like, uh, risk it. Let's go see if I can get through. No. Well, he's not technically there. I want to go there. Be on that side. Uh, alright, let's go down to go up maybe. I think maybe I've already been over there. Yeah. This is where I forgot to look up. Yeah, I remember you. Huh. Yeah. Okay, so... You know what this game needs? Grappling hooks. Why don't we have grappling hooks? They're not high tech. It's just a rope attached to like a claw thing. I'm just saying. It makes no logical sense that we don't have grappling hooks. That's the Wendigo. Well, if he comes in here, at least I can stab him off in the doorway. Dun, dun, dun. Sorry, I didn't mean for this to get so intense all of a sudden. I just didn't realize I was fighting with a Wendigo. Okay, that did that. 
Well, that, that won't give me any water. Canned coffee? Yeah, that's good. Bottled water? Cool. Need to get some water. Alright, now if he comes at me, I should technically be a little more prepared. You know, I walked this entire area without encountering him once, so... How did I miss him? Unless he's... Is he beneath me? Where the fuck is he? Is he above me? Ugh. Like I said, I hate the way the sound travels around here sometimes. Alright, yeah, okay, we're back at the beginning again, alright. What's this do? Well, I have no idea what that did. Alright, um, let's see. I am enjoying this, don't get me wrong. But, I guess unless I go fight the big bad windy boy, um, we're kind of done. So I guess I'm going to go fight the big bad windy boy. Be prepared for there to be some dying. Hopefully it won't be too bad. Right. I need to go back up and not, no. How did I get up there? Mm, how did I get up there? That's how I got up there. Was that one? It's like an alt or something. I'm going to try to like crisp him up first and maybe do some fire damage. Uh, I have a plan. Will it work? I don't know. But are we going to try anyway? Yes. Why? Because we are not cowards here. Oh, I guess I could just jump straight down, huh? That would put me where I wanted to be. I don't know if it would get me back up where I want to be. We'll come back to that. Here he is. How does this work? I'll be like all the way up here. Can he get to me? I don't know if he can get to me. How do I throw the Molotov again? Is it shift? No, it is not shift. Shoot. I forget how to throw the Molotov cocktail. I don't know if I can do it from hidden. Nope. Okay, I don't know what that was. Nope, not that. Nope, not that. Oh, yep, that's what it is. Take that! It's not doing hardly any damage. A bigger gun. Nope, gun. Gun. Gun! Thank you. Seriously. Now that's no good. Now he's coming right for us. You in the butt. Crap. That's a good spot for you to be in. God, these things take forever to kill. And I just suck at it so much. 
I'm actually just gonna sit there and let me shoot you. I guess I'll take it, but... Move, damn it. Did that even do anything? There we go. Still down there? Ooh, eggs. Just die before you kill me. Whew. We're not going to talk about how low my health was before that happened. Salisbury steak. Um, why do you have spools of fiberglass? Alright, well, that guy's dead now. So, that was a thing. <laughs> Hand sanitizer. Um, I've never played the game, but if there's no flying mechanics, monsters, weapons, that's why. There's a flying mechanic. I just don't have power armor. Um... Yeah, we're, we're, that was a... We, we refer to it as a windy boy. How do I get over there? Well, I guess I can just jump down now, can't I? Where am I? I'm like really confused where I am now. I'm like all turned around and stuff. Was that stupid thing there the whole time that I was like, I can't get around? Seriously, where am I? I have no idea where I'm at. Whatever. Have I been in here? It's another shower area. No, I don't think I've been in here. Have I? I don't know. I know I was. No, I would have grabbed that. Okay. All right. All right. Hey, hey, look, we're in a new area. Check it out. Yay. I will say toilet paper. They did an update not too long after the panini started. And there's several spots still within the game where you can go and there's literal stockpiles of, of toilet paper. There's nothing else there. It's just people have stockpiled toilet paper. I thought it was a funny little ad. Uh, why? Why is this monkey? Just why? Why does Jangles the Moon Monkey even exist? Like, as a doll. And why does it have to look like that? Of all the ways they could have made Jangles look, why does he have to look like a nightmare? Oh, he's got slippers! I've not seen slippers before. Dude was playing chess? Oh. Sorry, buddy, I had to play chess with you too. Yes, you can carry a cane around with you and you can beat the ever-loving snot out of people with canes. It's amazing I have any healing left, TBH. Alright, um... Well, we're in a whole other section now. Alright, we're getting a little repetitive with the rooms, so... Oh. No, but we'll turn on. Do, 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 do. I think I have the blue hat. I don't need the telephone. 
Did I already poke around in here? Yes. There's a hole. Pay attention. Another collapsed area. I'm starting I'm starting to get a little turned around, I'm not gonna lie. Can't go through there. So if we if it looks like I'm doubling back on some things, it's because I'm getting a little turned around. Hey, employees only. Hey, an ice machine. Oh. It's another flickering light that doesn't flicker. Got the yellow hat. Is there any new cola in the new cola machine? Yes! Why did they put the empty cola bottles back in the cola machine? That makes no sense. Other than you're just being mean. Ha ha ha, you could have a new cola, but I drank it all. What do we got? Pre-war money. Chairs. <clears throat> I think we're getting away from the patients' rooms and we're getting into, like, hospital staff. Okay, we were over here. I remember that much. We couldn't get through these doors. Are we not supposed to get through the doors? Do I have to do something with the terminal? No, we're just not supposed to be able to get in there. Hmm. There's definitely ways to get there, though. We are just not on that path. Okay, there's things upstairs. Hopefully not another windy boy, though. Would not put it past them. Huh. Alright. I wonder what I'm doing with the circuit breaker. Stumbling around, flipping switches, pushing buttons. What do they do? I don't know. Ooh, a lead pipe. Yeah, we'll take a lead pipe. An enamel bucket and a spatula. Okay. Uh, I was in here. Yeah. Wasn't I? Okay. Hmm. Alright. I did not expect there to be something in there. Trying to decide if I've been in these spaces yet. Okay, I haven't been in here because I would have opened these doors. Nope. Nope. One time I came in here and they had a gnome sitting on the toilet. It was really weird. Alright, I pushed. I hear it. But I don't see it. Mm, I'm pretty sure I killed that thing. Didn't I? Ah, yeah. No. Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, I did. Oh man, I'm turned around. Sorry, guys. Um, let's see. I turned that on in the hallway. I flipped that switch. Does it go somewhere else? recognize that monkey. Well, I think that's supposed to be the monkey that 
got shot in the space. Where's the dude? But um, it doesn't need to look that terrifying, I don't think. All right, so. Oh, hey. Was that open? That was open before, right? Yeah, I pushed that button. I flipped that switch. These are power doodads going up to that. And then they kind of terminated there, yeah? Maybe push the button again? Right? Oh, still didn't do anything. Hmm. Oh, this is the section that was behind the door that I couldn't get to. I came in here, right? I did walk back here. I just don't remember if I collected stuff. Yeah, right. There's that. Did I not go down this hallway? Alright. No, I did not. Walking around. Where have I been? This hallway. This giant hallway right here. This hallway right in front of you. Stuff. Lots and lots of stuff. None of it is stuff that I want. Great. Ooh. Take that, rat. All right. Glowing meat is good for you. <laughs> Glowing things are good. Don't eat glowing things in real life, kids. Wow, there's a lot of this fungus in here. Nope. Well, if I ever need fungus for something, I know where to come look for it. So this whole back area here seems like it's all just storage. I knew that was going to happen. Okay, nope. 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 I don't know who comes up with these situations, but they're weird. Well, you got to make sure that your gun's comfortable. That That's the important part. I think I do need shotgun shells. Now, where was my shotgun? Do I not have a shotgun? Is that part of the problem? I'd get the laser rifle, but honestly, the laser weapons, though they are powerful, they're kind of a pain in the butt because they don't have many shots to them. The recharge time is slow. Just, there's a lot of reasons why I don't like them. But if I was doing like the mad power gaming thing, I would definitely, definitely want those. I hear it, but I don't see it. Oh yeah, remember earlier we heard on the tape about the dining room and this is where the, the incident occurred in the dining room area. So the guy was saying that uh, one of the patients attacked a nurse. This, this would be that area. Rad roach is delicious. Not as good as Gandy Boy apples, though. Oh, man, don't you wish that coffee machine still worked? More water. We're not taking that. Oh, that pie looks good. Can we have the pie? Oh, we can have the pie. Ah oh, man. Tease. I wonder if it ever works. I've, I've never had one of these work before. I just wonder if maybe sometime it will. No. Oh well. It's the thought that counts. <laughs> All 
Oh well. Hey, another red roach. Oh wow. Now you're just part of the wall. Um, yeah, so remember, <laughs> remember, I mentioned about, <laughs> I can't close the door. I would give you your privacy, my dude. Kind of want your slippers though, I'm not going to lie. Oh, I can close the stall door. Here, buddy, let's, uh, there you go. You were, you were minding your own P's and Q's there. All right, um, let's come down here before we go up, see if there's anything else we're going to miss. Purified water, we'll take that. Mm, if only the lanterns were actually useful, like... Sometimes I wish some of this junk that you pick up, that you could actually use it, as opposed to it just becoming scrap, which is what it does. It has no purpose beyond that. Hell yeah, I want to roll a duct tape. And I do want those loose screws. Alright. Mm. You're like, oh, money. It's really not worth anything. Do I have the green one? I don't think I have the green one. Ooh, bobby pins. Like, yeah, I want bobby pins. So it looks like the uniforms are all white. And that looks like the hats and the things that changed color, depending on what the nurse was doing. All right, uh, I think is that the other side, the side I couldn't get in. Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay, cool. All right. All right, so. I'm going to play for just a few little more moments, but now in the comments section, if anyone's listening still, go ahead and ask me some questions about Archeo Gaming if you're into it. Um, if you have burning questions that I haven't gotten to, because it has been a minute since I've talked about it. So if you guys have questions about that, let me know. If you have questions about, you know, my take on the game here, we are playing Fallout 76. Um, from like like an archaeological perspective let me know <clears throat> excuse me can i get to this door yes but no crap where am i double crap there we go let's try this again i can get to this door sort of there is a room in there. Nah, it's gonna make myself crazy doing this. Anyway, let me know. Let me just give me some questions or something to kind of bring the game back around. And I will look at the questions in a second because I'm determined that I'm gonna do this. <sighs> or not? I might give up. Clearly, it's not meant to be. There's a chemistry station in there. What if I started here? I don't think I can make that. Nope. Oh well. I'm sure there's something wonderful and spectacular and game changing inside that room, but it is not meant to be, sadly. Was there another way in there? Is there a way in there? But yeah, I think, um, I don't say we've done the whole thing yet, but between the other people who have already been in here to clean the place out and myself, I think the big, I'm like, the rooms aren't even interesting anymore. Like, they don't really have so much 
of a story going on inside them anymore. And now I'm just kind of like wandering and looting. So. Yeah, because we're definitely in like the unused storage side of this asylum now. And then there's this guy. <laughs> Worth going down there? Eh, we'll go up. We haven't gone up yet. We haven't gone up in a while. Let's go back up to the white floor. Alright. Alright. Uh, ooh. Hey, buddy. Try to jump out of me. That's what you get for making me jump. showers work? I don't know if I've ever tried the showers. Oh, they don't work. That's no fun. I should make the showers work. Just for giggles. Just for giggles. Mm -hmm. Ah, that's right. I killed you there. Um... I would have missed that if I hadn't walked over here like that. Oh no! Got crushed with him's teddy! So sad. So, so sad. Um, why was it the only the downstairs shower room where there was like chlorine, an entire bag of chlorine chilling in the bathroom? Like that seems painful. A toaster. We'll take that loose spring, though. <laughs> Some of this background noise is actually my neighborhood. It's very noisy in my neighborhood today. Thought I saw something. But I did not. Yeah. Alright, so the game itself is kind of... Like, the floor layout plan itself is kind of running out of steam, I'm noticing. It's not really so much going on. Oh, oh. Oh, there we go. There's a bread box. <laughs> what are we supposed to make of this? Other than I'm taking it. So I wonder if the white floor, which is where we're at... I'm only calling it that because it doesn't have a color painted around the base of it. If this is like the employee area. I think I do need those. I uh, can't remember if I need those. Yeah, I want caps. And so like right now we're walking around. Yeah, because there's like cigarettes in here. There's been things I would not expect to see in, like, a patient's room. Which way did we come from? We came from that way. Yeah, we've already been there. So I guess now we're kind of like... Yeah, here's, like, a kitchen space. Ooh, a cooking stove. The teeniest, tiniest cooking stove ever. Do I have any water... Do. Can you boil some water? Wait, I have boiled water. I can make nothing. But I can make some brain fungus soup, I guess. Alright, let's do this. Because I don't want this to spoil on me. Some 
grilled red roach. Make some glow fungus soup. Mm, make some brain fungus soup. Yeah. Don't. Yeah. Can't make anything else. Alright, cool. That was fun. Now my meat and stuff won't spoil. Tape. This has been like tape heaven for me. Mmm, mashed potatoes. Nom nom nom. Yeah, so I'm, I'm guessing this is like where the orderlies and stuff would have been. I'll take an ammo bag, sure. Don't know what's in it. More Instamash. Yeah. yeah, the bathrooms are kind of nicer. Well, within reason. You've got three empty bottles and no head. I never know what to make with the ones that don't have heads. Like... You know, that's as you do. <laughs> that's just, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't pretend to know. I hear something moving around, though. Brotherhood stronghold, so the fa oh, that's just you. What is going on back here? What what is this? What is happening? Well, I guess we figured out where that dude's leg got off to. There's like a teddy bear in here though. Maybe this is where they were keeping the chickens? I don't know why you would keep, give a chicken a teddy bear, but you know, I don't keep chickens, so I don't know. Do chickens like teddy bears? Wow, that's creepy. Maybe they were keeping the rats, I don't know. I'm hoping they weren't keeping children. This game can get really dark though, so don't put it past the game. There's actually a bonus reward you can get in game if you eat enough cans of dog food. <laughs> it's really weird. Oh, hey, stairs. Did I walk up here? What am I doing? Well, we'll walk down later. Now, remember, this used to be a Brotherhood stronghold, so... Where the hell are the Brotherhood folk? Or, you know, any evidence of them. There's that stupid thing again. Hey, a workbench. Cool. Ooh, all the workbenches. Yeah. Well, let's scrap all the junk. Green, pink, red, yellow, white, white, lead pipe. Yeah, we want to get rid of the lead pipe too. And we get rid of you. I don't like you. Where are my weapons? Where's my where's my shotgun? Where's my shotgun? And your favorite did. Do I just not have a lot of shotgun ammo? Um, I'm gonna craft. I think this is where I make Maltovs from. Throwing knife. Energy? Nope. Edged? Nope. Blunt? Nope. Hmm. I can't remember where I make those damn things at. Here? 
But anyway. Let's see. Um. Jangles the Space Monkey is the Fallout version of the monkey that went to space. What was that monkey's name? I think somebody probably already answered that. MMO Fallout 76 with all of its unique communities. I am playing uh, MMO Fallout. The, sp I, the Shakespearean group might be fun. How do you. How am I recording? I'm just using OBS. One of the friendliest online communities. Why do I think Fallout 6 is one of the friendliest online communities? Because the game really does... Like, you can't complete the main storyline without a group. So, and it's it's that way by design. Which is fine. I think that's a great way to do it. Um, also, the game really is just kind of fun. And it doesn't really... I mean, there are PvP areas that you can go to. And there's PvP worlds you could go to. But for the most part... It's, um, there they are. Nope. For the most part, it wants you to, it wants you to play well together. It wants you to, to be friends. Let's make, um, can we make 20 of them? Yes, we can. All right. And so I think that's why the group is maybe so friendly. Also, there's just a lot of lore that goes into the game because Fallout 76 is just one of the pieces of the fallout world and there's been fallout games that have come out since this one um i'd love to see them do a philadelphia one honestly they did pittsburgh and i was really excited about that but i'd love to see even if they were to just expand 76 and like expand it out to like you could go play it on another server or something like that and play philadelphia or West Virginia. I guess it would be Pennsylvania or West Virginia. I think that would be fun, but you know, that's a lot of coding. Um, was common even inside schools. Oh, the guy's talking about smoking. Yeah. They don't allow, uh, inside the city here, you're not allowed to smoke within like 30 feet of a building's entrance. That doesn't mean people don't. It just, you're not supposed to. It's more of a, hey, you're being a nuisance. I have a reason to get rid of you. A note? Operation Watoga. The cost is just too high. Once we have the Scorch Beast under control, we can consider addition of... Okay, so Watoga is overrun by the Scorch Beast. Noted. We will not be going to Watoga. Yeah, see, the bathrooms in here are much nicer. This must be like the orderlies area. Why? Just the random stuff that they put in the toilets. I think it's just like to reward you for looking in the toilets, honestly. Point, case in point. <laughs> They're really into handcuffs right now. Do I have this one? Oh, I don't have a brown one. I'm gonna collect all of the hats. I hear it moving around, I just don't know where it is. And see, now this will be the Brotherhood area. Alright, so this is interesting because you've got the Brotherhood area and it looks better than the other areas have looked, yeah? It's a little bit structured, more clean, the beds are actually made, things aren't, there's not garbage all over the floor. Oh, yeah, I want the cap. Um, so, no more satellites? It's been so long since communication fell with Elder Maxon and Lost Hills. Paladin Taggard, Tag whatever. Amazing, she truly is, but I miss the Elder. Um, I remember sitting in Cap Venture and he had a vision of some way through this hell. I can't imagine a better general than Paladin Taggarty. But what I'd give to sit down and listen one more time to the old man tell us of what he could be. It's sad. Why is there an asylum worker outfit in here? I don't know. It's completely messing with my theory. Squire Evelyn's Journey. Journal. Journal. But after chewed him out, he filed out, grabbed his gear, and walked straight through the security door. 
Helen and herself interrogated him for hours, but now Belmont's bunked up with the thunder and the rest of us scrubs are parked. <laughs> uh, so I cornered Belmont and asked how the hell he breached security and get through that. He was just some sort of mechanic pre-war. Only thing he'd tell me is that Camp McClintock, what the hell, he's such an ass. I think I should actually know that reference and I don't. I don't know why I was looking for these ammo bags, but I was. No, 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 I'm overburdened. Crap on a stick. Dang it. I was trying to avoid that. Can I scrap some stuff? Well, that seemed to have helped. What else have I got here that I can get rid of? Hmm. Oh well. I do like that the game makes you go to certain desks to do certain things. Like, you can't just do everything. You came that way. You can't just do everything at one desk. Um. Oh, the overseer was here. Holy crap. It looks like the purified water, but I think I've got enough food. Overseer's log, Allegheny. A mental asylum as a last stand against the scorched. Brave, crazy, and crazy brave. The <laughs> army way. At least I'm pretty sure the Brotherhood had former U.S. Army members. Judging by the security systems. If only they had survived. What I wouldn't give to have a few of America's finest watching my back right now. As it is, I'll have to find out how they were planning to combat the Scorched on my own. Once I can figure out a way through these doors. Okay, so I guess our next task is to get through the door. The, if, for those of you who don't know the plot line, we... What is that? That's in the game. Dang, dude. The Overseer was our bunker's Overseer, and she went out ahead of everybody else from the bunker to go explore. And they've she's left us a trail of notes and letters and things for us to follow her trail throughout the game. You do at some points meet her and get to speak with her, but um, she's, she's your guide through the main storyline, so... Just got reassigned to Defiance to keep an eye on the Sierra Bravos. But the rest... The more Maxon spouts about the Brotherhood, this, that, and makes me want to take off like Magden did instead of focusing on helping people, we're abandoning people. I heard rumors were straight up robbing farmers and responders. Are we different from the raiders? They're the real threat to everyone, so there's no way out. There's a lot of factions in this game that were game created, though if you're telling me that there's like a player created group that's calling themselves the Shakespeare's, I love it. Do I care enough? I hate hacking. It's like, I hate it so much. It's probably just a storage room. Yeah, we're just gonna... Probably at some point I need to get in here too to figure out how to get through there. So, I don't know. Uh, content system is straight up military hardware. Oh, okay. Well, that was helpful. All right. I'm gonna um, check this color. I'm going to wrap things up here and because it's almost five o'clock so so here's your last chance to ask me a question if you have it if not um, then that'll be the end of that all right so if I hmm ouch if I log out here it'll 
kick me out to the outside. What are those, and where are they? Oh, they're well outside my round, my range. Oh, wasn't I gonna go down? Well, that's a big drop. That's a big drop. I don't want to do that. There was like another set of stairs. There we are. No. Yep. Because I didn't take any of this stuff. Um... Is that what I've been hearing walking around? Great. This time I've been worked up over a rat. A heavy breathing rat, no less. Where'd you go, buddy? I'm not your pal, buddy. I'm not your buddy, pal. Where'd you go? I hear you. Was I in here? Oh, there you are. <laughs> oh, he's glowing. He's fabulous. Did you run away? Come back here. I'm tired of listening to you walk around. Ugh. Yeah, that's that stupid thing. Where did you go? Oh, I didn't even notice I needed to unlock this one. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna wrap up now. Right after I explore 14 more rooms. Now you're here. Take that. You deserve that. Oh. Alright. Um. I never know what to make of these guys when I find them. Plasma grenade and a baseball grenade. And his helmet. Alright, so this is somebody's office. See. Upstairs again. Okay, so this is the dining room. Ready to go. I heard him. Like I'm asking you guys, like you can like point at him. Point to him on the screen. Where's Swiper? Do you guys know where Swiper is? Oh, this is that damn door I couldn't get through, isn't it? It's probably in there. Whatever. Yeah, he's up there. Is he literally in there? Ah, I made it! Ha ha ha! Shut up, I could have come through that hole. Leave me alone. Zero level my ass. Wait, when did I when did I take up investigate Watoga? I hate when it gives me things that I didn't mean to take. Well, I haven't been in here. Nope, sure haven't. Did I blink and went to sleep during this? I must have. Makes no sense. Alright, I'm super turned around. I'm all the turned around. <laughs> hey, 
Thank God it quit walking around. Okay, yeah, all right. These are the, the animal cages. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, well, all right. The thing is, is if I log out when I log back in, I won't be in here, but that's fine. Um... Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you for hanging out with me while I did all of this. So now I just have to remember how to leave the game, which I don't at all remember how to log out. Here we go. Let's go to the main menu. And yeah, so my plan with this is to, well, I'll be cutting it down into an actual video and putting it up on my Archeo Gaming channel, and I'll let you guys know when I did that. And I don't know how long I'll leave this up on the, uh, the actual channel because it doesn't have anything to do with my normal content. So I just kind of wanted some people to chit chat with while I was playing video games. So I think I'll keep doing this. And eventually, if you guys want to like migrate over to the um the archeo gaming channel that i have set up <clears throat> eventually i'll start doing these on the archeo gaming channel and that i think that'll be fun but anyway i'll let you guys know when this is up and ready to be seen on the regular channel the other the other channel the actual archeo gaming channel and thank you everybody for hanging out with me i really appreciate it and i hope everybody enjoyed this and Feel free to leave comments down below if you have questions. I'll try to answer things as much best I can. And yeah, I will see everybody um, in the normal videos that I post. So talk to everybody later. Bye. Somehow. Mm. Where's OBS? There it is.